Hi everyone, this is part three. We're going to identify uh, points of discontinuity, hor horizontal and vertical asymptotes, and domain and range. And these are the two problems we're going to do. So for the first one, the first thing we have to do is factor this. This is a difference of squares, which would be x minus three times x plus three. And here we have x, x, 6 and 3. The 6 has to be negative because our 3 is negative. So we do have a removable discontinuity right here. And it's a point, so that would be 3. And you use your reduced equation, y equals this. Um, this is our reduced equation. And you plug in... 3, so you get 3 plus 3 over 3 minus 6. So this would be 6 over negative 3, which equals negative 2. All right? A horizontal asymptote is y equals 1. Because our degrees are the same, so you just divide... 1 divided by 1, so you get y equals 1. Make sure you write this as a line. And your vertical asymptote is going to be, you look at your reduced equation here, and it's going to be um, x equals 6. Because we can, the denominator cannot equal 0. So if you plug a 6 in here, you're going to get a 0. Therefore, if you look at this, we know that x cannot be 3, because that's a hole. The, these are holes in the graph. It cannot be 3, and x cannot be 6. So your domain, if you write in interval notation, it would be negative infinity to 3, or 3, comma 6, or... 6 comma infinity. So your domain is your x values. Now your y values um, is your range. So we have negative 2 and y equals 1. So basically y cannot be negative 2 and y cannot be negative 1. And sometimes you could just write it like that. But if you're going to write it in interval notation, you're going to start with the smaller number and go from negative infinity to negative 2 or negative 2 to negative 1 or negative 1 to infinity. Okay? And the last one is this one. <coughs> we have to factor this one. So we're going to get... Um, we'll do it over here. 2x, we need a 3, so it'll be 6, be positive, minus 1. And then our denominator is so xx, it's probably going to be plus 3, yeah, plus 3, and then minus 1. Now we do have a removable discontinuity at x equals negative 3, and it's a point, so we're going to write negative 3. Then to get our y value, you plug in negative 3. So this is going to equal um, negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7 over negative 3. That's going to be 7 over 4. Okay, we do have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 2 because you uh, the, the degrees are the same, so you just divide 2 divided by 1. Our vertical asymptote, you looked at your uh, reduced equation here, and we have, uh, you know, the denominator cannot be 0. So x equals 1. That generates a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. Okay. 
So we know that x cannot be negative 3, x cannot be 1. So writing in an interval notation, you could just write this for your domain if you want it. But if you have to write interval notation, you have to write it from least to greatest. And then 1, comma, infinity. And your range, uh, y, your, y is your range. Y cannot be 2, and Y cannot be 7 fourths. And that would be your range, basically, but writing it in interval notation, uh, which is bigger. Um, 2 is bigger than 7 fourths, so I'm going to write negative infinity to 7 fourths or a 7 fourths comma 2 or 2 comma infinity. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.